Welcome to this section of our online marketing success course. We've got to look at success on the internet like it's a recipe. It takes several ingredients for it to turn out right. And the ingredient we're going to talk about today, our tools, internet marketing tools. Artists need paint, canvas, and paint brushes. Musicians need musical instruments. Athletes need their bats, their balls, and so forth. We're no different. Everyone needs tools. Construction workers need tools. Everyone needs tools to be successful in their business. Lucky for us, most of our tools are free. Not all of them, but most of them. For instance, we must have our own domain name. We must have website hosting. And we must have our own autoresponder. These we cannot get away from. They are a must. Other tools are our Gmail and our YouTube account, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. To get a YouTube account, we must have a Gmail account, and our YouTube account needs to be set up in a specific way. What you are about to see is very up to date. This is from the Guide to Online Marketing and Sales course that we came up with, and this video is from February the 18th, 2013. Let's go set up our Gmail and our YouTube accounts. In this video, we are going to start working on our tools of internet marketing. Good thing is this is a free tool, and this one is called Gmail. And yes, Gmail is an internet marketing tool, as is YouTube, and as is Google Chrome, which we are going to open up. And to get Google Chrome, and everyone should use Chrome, everyone should use Firefox, and everyone should use Internet Explorer because they all have their uses and they all have their downfalls. To get Google Chrome, just go to google.com slash chrome. Right here you can download it for mobile, for your browser, for a variety of devices. But right now what I am doing is getting a new Gmail account. What we want to do is pick out a username for this new website that we are working on that has keywords in it that are related to the new website. So what we do is create an account. And you enter in all of this information. And I'm going to pick out a username while the video is paused and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got lucky and new online marketing guide was available. And you create your password, add in your birthday. Depending on which part of the world you're in, you may have to add in your mobile phone number. They use this to verify your Gmail and your YouTube account. You add in your current email address from your domain name that we just made. And you can click skip this verification. And we'll see in the future if they make me add my phone I will do it and you can agree to Google terms of service I've already read them and click next step okay I do need to verify my account so I'm going to do that and get back to you and this was the next page that came up so what you want to do is add your profile image. Um, you want to just go through this step by step and set up a new Gmail account. Once it's completely set up, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up your YouTube account. And I'll be back in a few minutes with that one. I'm getting quite a collection of videos up here already for our guide to online marketing and sales, even before the website is built. All right. This time what I want to do is get our YouTube account and get the channel settings set up. So let's open up our Google Chrome and our Gmail. And here we are. Maybe first what I'm going to do is change my profile image. So just click on your image. View profile. change profile photo 
click no thanks we want to upload one is what we want so I'll delete this one permanently delete change profile photo select photos from your computer and let's find the Google Plus image that we just made for this website right here open it drag this to where you want it make sure you get that Google image in there that works for me set as profile photo add your comment and my comment is this is my new image for the guide to online marketing and sales website notice how I got the keywords in here and let's share it even though we don't have anyone in our circles yet public share there it is now let's close this up and you need to be logged right into your gmail account to get your youtube from inside logged in your gmail click on youtube click on sign in and you enter your password here and you sign in what this is doing is connecting your YouTube and your Gmail accounts together so that your one Google profile works all across the internet and we can connect these but we'll do this later click next pick categories you like that's going to be how to and do it yourself next and uncheck all of these because you don't want to subscribe to anyone's channels by accident so I'm going to uncheck them and just click here to uncheck them all at once and save welcome to the YouTube homepage now let's get it set up click over here YouTube settings and eventually we're going to be making money from YouTube this is going to be from your Gmail account from AdSense click on sharing first thing we want to do is click right here do not allow advertisements to be displayed beside my videos save click on sharing what we want to do eventually is connect to Facebook Twitter and Orkut and certain YouTube channels let you connect to many many places and social networks so right here we want to do this uncheck this one and uncheck this one you want people to know when you comment on a video and you want people to know when you like a video but you don't want all of these going out and bothering people on your Facebook account so uncheck the top one and the bottom one and click Save now let's go to privacy you want to only allow my contacts to send me messages and share videos you want to let people find my channel on YouTube if they have my email address I don't think you want people to advertise to you and make statistics and data for my videos publicly visible by default this is a personal preference on this channel I'm going to leave it set just how it is and I'm going to save email this is again a personal preference you don't want once a day for sure once a week or never I'm leaving it for once a week email notifications you want to be notified when someone subscribes to your channel yes when someone leaves a comment yes 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 and yes and for this one all I want is the monthly newsletter and save now we click playback this depends on your connection of course all of this does and just to let you know YouTube Google 
does have speech recognition. So every time you say a word on a video that you upload to YouTube, Google is going to pick those words up. So when you do a video, make sure that you use your keywords and your related keywords in that particular video. I'm going to leave this like it is and save. Let's go into features. What we're going to do inside of this tab, and this is going to look different for different people in different countries, by the way, is we're going to enable monetization, and some of these tabs may or may not show up for you. And we want to enable my account. I must agree to the terms of service. I've already read them. Got it. And now you create your channel. Ready to continue. And I'm going to leave the video at this part because it's almost 10 minutes long and it gets too hard to edit if it gets over 10 minutes. So when we come back, we are going to be editing your channel. Okay, this is going to be part two for our YouTube settings for Guide to Online Marketing and Sales. So let's go and log into our YouTube account. Here we are where we left off. Now what you want to do right here is click on Channel Settings. And there is a lot of things that you can do from here. You can edit the color of your background of your channel. Uh, you can actually upload an image and have your own graphical image. Like for instance if you owned a business you could have your business logo around the outside. And I'll get into that in the future in this training. Right now we're going to actually do the basics. So what I want you to do is click on tabs. And I want you to make sure that this feed tab is checked and YouTube changes all the time. Once the changes happen I will let everyone know that's taking this course and what we want to do is always take subscribe users to our feed. You also want to let your subscribers know when you add a video to your public playlist. After you've taken care of this, click on finished editing. Now we go back to our channel settings again this time it's going to be info and settings and what you need to do here is put a description and your tags that you're going to use for this channel and your description is going to be keyword related and very similar to what you use for your Google authority setup so I'm going to go and write one up and pop it in here okay this website Guide to online marketing and sales.com. The main keyword phrase that I'm going for is Guide to Online Marketing. Three related keywords are tools of internet marketing, internet marketing and sales, and web marketing search engine optimization. So, my description make sure you get your name in here and make sure that you let Google know that this is to help people. So, this is what your description should be like, and this is going to be my exact description. This channel belongs to John Jarvis and it is to help people with a complete guide to online marketing and sales. It will help people to understand the tools of internet marketing and also with their web marketing search engine optimization. So let's pick this up and let's take it back and pop it into our YouTube channel. Our tags. I just showed you the tags. I'll pop them in there and you don't want any more than four or five tops keywords in here. What I did was I used my main keyword, the three related keywords, and I used my name. You want Google to know what you are about, right? Now what we need to do is we can edit our channel URL. After we've done this, click on finished editing. We could edit our channel URL right now, but this stuff I've seen in the past disappear. So finished editing. Some tags are too long or too short. 
tags should be between 2 and 30 characters long, so I'm going to fix them up and take out unnecessary keywords. And here are the ones that it rejected, and here are the keywords that I used that it accepted. Guide, online marketing, tools, internet marketing, marketing and sales, web marketing, search engine optimization, and my name. So let's go back to our channel again. And from here we need to click on our channel settings. And go back to info and settings again. What we need to do right now is edit our channel URL. When you pick out your custom channel URL, you want to get your keywords in here too. So I'm going to work on this and come back with something that YouTube and Google will accept. Okay, it took me about five minutes and I had to go through a whole variation of the keyword phrases and what it did accept is online marketing sales. So as long as it has online marketing in it, it's going to help with the search engine ranking, search engine optimization. So just keep playing with your different variations and keep all of your keywords as related keywords as Google would see it and I mean relate it to your main domain name and click save. What you want to do now is your defaults. So click here and your category it's going to be how to and style and you don't want to fill in title and description because these are going to be different in every post or every video that you upload and same with the tags you can click on enable monetization but make sure that you uncheck this this is if you want to start making money with your videos right away and this is done through AdSense we will be setting up an AdSense account what happens if you allow people to have TrueView in stream ads there will be videos that play before your video starts and if you just check this one, this means that there's going to be a video that pops up after 15 or 20 seconds into it. One thing that you don't want to do is annoy people watching your video so that they click away. And now you click got it. And save. And one more final thing that we want to do to set up your YouTube channel at this point is hook it up with your website, with your main website. 